hello guys welcome to solving solutions on Bowen channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to look at some questions from a past question right good so you need to get a calculator by you the question the first question is um, a surveyor during a route surveying recce has about 18 stations right good to be used for the traversing also for the leveling operation 1.2 kilometers will be covered now calculate the expected maximum angular and the maximum level misclosures for a third order survey right so this is supposed to be a survey so for a route survey exercise you're going to carry out um, traversing leveling detailing and maybe any other tax right good now so for these two tax there will be 18 stations for the traversing and then the leveling will cover 1.2 kilometer right good so we are expected to calculate the expected maximum angular misclosure and then the maximum level misclosure for a third order survey so from the question the total number of instrument station is about 18 which is represented by n right good so the formula for the maximum allowable angular misclosure for a third order survey it's very important to include that for a third order survey can be gotten using 30 seconds root n where your n is the total number of what stations right good this now implies that our allowable the maximum allowable misclosure can be gotten using what 30 seconds times the square root of what 18 because our n is equal to what 18 right good so on your calculator you can have zero degrees zero minutes 30 seconds multiplied by the square root of what 18 so if you press equal to you are going to have about um, 0 degrees 2 minutes 7.28 seconds right so what this value represents is that um, when you carry out your traversing for this um, root survey exercise your angular misclosure should not exceed this value so if you have an angular misclosure from these um, 18 stations that um, you have identified or you have selected that will be used for the traversing and then your angular misclosure is above this value which means your observations are in error you need to perhaps go back to site or if it is within this value then your observations are actually okay for you to what to proceed right now the other aspect of the question says we should also calculate what the maximum leveling misclosure if the leveling operation will cover 1.2 kilometers right so for a third order um, leveling exercise your allowable misclosure can be gotten using 24 millimeter root k right good where k is equal to the total distance covered in kilometers right good now from the question the total distance to be covered is um, 1.2 kilometer which means our distance is already in kilometer so if you have a question that your distance is not in kilometer perhaps it's in meter or any other unit you need to convert it to or to kilometer so let's say if it's maybe 1000 meters so you divide that 1000 by 1000 to have the equivalent in meter right good so if it is 10 meter that you have here you divide that 10 meter by 1000 so whatever value you have here that is in meter that you want to convert to the kilometer you divide by 1000 right good so let's come back here so since our distance is already in um, in kilometer we just um, continue with our um, calculation so this is 24 millimeter mini is actually 10 raised to power minus 3 right good so if you want to convert this 24 millimeter to meter you have to divide this 24 by 1000 because of this milli right good so we now have about 24 divided by 1000 or if you want to follow the other approach of saying 24 times what 10 raised to power minus 3 right good so you are going to arrive at the same answer so you are having a um, 0.024 right good now multiplied by root key 
we have told you that what k is actually the total distance covered in kilometers so if your calculator is by you you can still do what the square root of 1.2 kilometers right good so you are now having about 1.095 approximating to three decimal places so we now have um, 1.095 multiplied by 0 0.024 right good so we are having a final result of about 0 0.026 if we are taking it to three decimal places right good. so what this implies is that your when you carry out your leveling the misclosure that you are going to have should not exceed 0 0.026 meter right but that's the difference between the computed value of the last reduced level and the given value of the last reduced level should not exceed what this value so this is the maximum allowable um, leveling misclosure for that um, survey for this um, root survey that um, the leveling operation would um, cover 1.2 kilometer right now we have another question they say them um, during the leveling operation the following observations were made now observation to the back site which is um, usually the first observation you carry out during your leveling exercise is 2.344 meter right good and then the height of the benchmark is about 27.098 meter. So the benchmark is a point of known elevation used in leveling, right? Good. So now, four site observations were made to point B and point C. And then these are the values 2.586 and then 2.295 respectively. So the question is asking us to calculate the height of instrument of A which is um, where the instrument was set up and then the reduced levels at what point B and point C right good so the instrument was definitely set up somewhere and then the leveling staff was kept on the benchmark right good so when the leveling staff was um, kept on the benchmark this observation was made 2.344 right good so now on that same setup um, observations were made to point B and point C right good so the question now says we should calculate the height of that instrument and also the reduced level of what or the reduced level at point b and c where the foresight observations were made to right good so now there are a few formula to note the first of which is that um, the height of instrument is actually the reduced level of the benchmark plus the back side right good so these are fundamental formula that you need to know in leveling so the height of instrument is equal to reduce level of the benchmark plus the back side this now implies that your reduce level will be what the height of instrument minus foresight or height of instrument minus intermediate site or height of instrument minus what back side depending on what the situation you find yourself right good so we now have the height of instrument of a to be what from or let's say using this formula which is reduced level of the benchmark so the reduced level of the benchmark which is the height of the benchmark is what 27.098 which is what we have written here plus the backside observation right good so the backside observation is what 2.344 so if you have your calculator and then you press this value you are going to have what 29.442 meter right good so now this is the height of instrument at what station a or off station a rather the height of instrument of station a because that's where the instrument was set up right good so going further we want to calculate the reduced level at point b and c where the foresight observations were made to right so this now implies that the reduced level of b will now be the height of instrument at a minus what the foresight to b because the instrument was still set up at the same point but because of the order of operation that um, the first observation you have to make should be to a backside which is definitely a benchmark or which is supposed to be a benchmark as well so i haven't done that some other foresight observations were made to what to b and c so the first of which is to b so this now implies that we have what the height of instrument at a where the instrument is set up minus the foresight observation to b right good so we now have the last value of what 29.442 
minus the first side to be and then the first side to be is what 2.586 so ensure to confirm this value if perhaps we have written it in error so the intention was to subtract this to to have this value so we have what 26 point what 856 meter right good finally the reduced level at c which we are going to do the way we have done this will now be the height of instrument at a minus what the first side to c so the height of instrument remains the same because it's still the same instrument station which is what 29.442 minus the first side to c which is what 2.295 so if you do it rightly we are supposed to have what 27.147 so these are what the reduced levels at what point b and then point c right good so now from the exercise the height of the benchmark which was given to us to be what 27.098 is this and then the height of a which is the height of instrument is 29.442 and then the height of what b which is a four side station is 26.856 um, and then the height of c is what 27.147 all in meters right good so this is the solution to these um, um, questions that we have extracted from a past question right good so it's actually in um, engineering surveying so we have shown you um, the allowable misclosure how to calculate allowable misclosure for a third order survey for your traversing and for your leveling then we have also shown you an application of what um, leveling reduction where you have a um, backside and then you need to calculate the height of instrument and then also the reduced level of some four side stations right good so thanks for coming to class um, you can share with your friends very importantly you can use it for your study so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye